everybody, welcome back to their senior workout class. Today's workout, we are gonna use a small ball. So if you have a small ball somewhere around the house, um, or we've talked about it before, you could use a ball of yarn, you can use a sweatshirt or sweatpants kind of rolled up, just something to use and squeeze. That's all we're gonna use it for. Um, so it doesn't have to weigh anything or be super big, just something that you can place in your hands. Go ahead, grab yourself a water bottle and make sure you have a little bit of room around you and we're going to go ahead and get started. So we do not need the ball for the first part and for the warm-up. So you can go ahead and put that down wherever you would like to. We are going to start with some high knee lifts. So I want you to take your hands to your hips. You're just going to start by bringing your right leg up and then putting it down and switching. So we're just alternating legs here. If you need to have a chair close by, you can always grab one for that, for that balance. But right now we're just driving that knee straight up as high as you can get it and then placing it down on the ground. Good. Couple more here. We're going to go one more on each side starting right here and then we're going to add to it. So lift and lift. Okay, now we're going to lift that right leg up, tap it down, kick it out. Okay, so left leg up, down, kick out, and in. So warming up those legs, kind of starting to get a feel for that balance. Good. A couple more sets here. Let's do one more on each side. So here's one, and here is one. Good. All right, give me a little light tap of the feet, foot march here. All right, so we're gonna alternate between wide march and normal march, okay? So you go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, wide march. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it in. Good. And back out wide. Back in. And take it wide. Next, we're gonna go for four counts, okay? So bring it in right here, one, two, three, and four, out, three, four, in. Good. Couple more sets. So one, two, three, four, two, three, four. One more set here. And bring your feet in flat, good. All right, take your arms out and just give me some forward arm circles. They don't have to be too big right now. Just starting to warm up those shoulders. Well, let's make them a little bigger. Open up, nice big circle. And take it backwards, small little circles to the back. Good. And gradually make them bigger. And do a couple arm swings here, just nice and loose. Swing out those arms. And take it back to marching here. So just nice and light on those feet. Good. We're going to do one set of arms here. So when you take them shoulder height, you're going to push them to the front and in, up and down, out and in. Okay. So to the front, up overhead, and to the walls. A couple more rounds just like that. Make sure you're breathing. We're going to do one more set like this and then we're gonna reverse direction, okay? So now we go back to the walls, up overhead, and to the front. Three more sets. Walls, up, and front, halfway, two to go. Almost done with that warm up. We're gonna do one more set here. Out and in, up and down, forward and back. March it out. Good. Let's take those arms swimming, okay? So you're gonna go up and around just like you're swimming in a pool. Try and keep those feet moving. And we take it backwards, backstroke, up and around, open up through that chest for five, four, three, two, and feet go flat. All right, you're through the warm up. Go ahead, grab a quick drink of water, and then we're gonna grab that exercise ball. We're 
get to start the main workout, the fun part. All right, so whatever you're using, ball of yarn, sweatshirt, you're gonna grab it, okay? Okay, so you're gonna start with it in your left hand. So right arm can do whatever you want to do, but you're gonna take a step to the front with your right leg, okay? So I'm gonna show it to you from the side here. You're gonna take a step forward, slight bend, up, and press, okay? So from the front, it looks like this. You step, bend, up, and then press. Okay? When you're ready, we're gonna do 10 on this side. So take that right leg to the front. Slight bend does not have to be big. Up and punch. It's kind of like a diagonal punch over and across the body. That knee bend is as big as you want it to be, okay? So if it bothers your knees, just take that step, don't bend, and then just go back to that starting position. You don't have to bend the knees if it bothers them, okay? You're over halfway. Working on a little bit of balance here as we do single side exercises, which is always great. Three more. Here's eight. And nine. One more here. And 10. Good, switch that ball over to the right hand. Now the left leg is gonna come forward, okay? So left leg, right arm are doing the motion. In four, three, two, step forward, bend, press up, and punch. When I say press up, you're thinking about pressing up through the heel of that left foot. So it comes forward, we bend, press up through that heel, good. Make sure you're breathing. Try and keep that chest lifted the whole time. You're over halfway. We can do it together. Good, four more. Here's seven. And eight. Good, two more. Nine. And 10. Up, good. All right, you're gonna take the ball in both hands. So both hands on the ball. You're gonna take your right leg out, kind of like we did during that warm-up. So you're gonna kick it out while it's out. I want you to press the ball to the front and then bring it back in, okay? So a little bit of balancing. Option is to hold it in your right hand. Have your left hand utilizing a chair or something to hold on to. But for right now, the ball can be in both hands. And when you're ready, join me. You're gonna lift that right leg up, hold it, and press. And then we bring it down, okay? So a little bit of balance as you press that ball straight up to the front. Good. Out. Now eventually you're gonna feel it all in that standing leg. That left leg is holding all of your body weight right now. So it's gonna start to hurt. Good. Oh, three more. That's one. And two. One more, and relax. Good, so you should have felt it kind of in that hip or that butt area. So same thing, now we're gonna use the left leg. The left leg kicks, the right leg gets to relax, okay? Same thing with the ball. You're gonna press it straight out towards me. In five, four, three, two, begin. So lift that leg, press, and lower. Good, 10 of these. You're already two in, that means I have eight to go. Here's four. Notice I'm trying not to lean too far over to the right, okay? So you're still trying to stay nice and tall. Three more. Here's eight. And nine. And 10. Good. Oh, now you should have felt it over here, right? Okay. Up next, you're just going to do some arm passes with that ball. So we'll take the legs out of the equation. You're going to hold the ball open and you're going to take your right arm back and in and then alternate, okay? So you're kind of thinking about trying to squeeze your shoulder blades back together. So start off with the ball in the center. We're going to go right arm only in four, three, two, 
reach out and switch. So you're keeping your arms up the whole time. You can also open both arms if you want. Whoa. Whatever feels more comfortable here. It's kind of what we call a reverse fly. So you're thinking about squeezing those shoulder blades back together, wrapping them around the spine of that back. Trying to keep those arms up the whole time. It's gonna start burning probably on those shoulders. We have five to go. Here's one, and two, three, four, we're gonna do one more, five, and six. Relax, good. All right, how are those shoulders feeling? Feeling great, hopefully? Okay, you're gonna do a squat next with the ball. So I want you to bring the ball, you're gonna have your feet shoulder width apart. Ball is here, we're gonna sit down into that squat, and then you're gonna do a front raise, okay? So from the side, ball is here, we're gonna squat down into a chair, come up, front raise. All right, so let's get into position here. Feet are wider than those hips, maybe a little wider than shoulder width. Ball is just here. We're gonna go together in five, four, three, two, begin. So sink down into that squat, up, front raise, and back down, good. I want you to think about sitting back as far as you can sitting back on those heels, chest is lifted the whole time, you want to think about squeezing that ball at the top, works those muscles a little more, we have four to go, hang in there, we look great, here's seven, and eight, good, two more, Here's nine and 10. Good. All right, you got one more exercise. We'll grab some water and we'll go through those again, okay? So you're gonna do a standing crunch. So if you need a chair, this one's a balancing one. You're gonna start with the ball on your right arm. It's over your head. You're gonna bring your right knee up, tap the ball, and then extend back out. You can also use both arms if you want to, just like this. Otherwise, if you need to have that chair, left hand can go on that chair. So we're gonna 10 on the right, 10 on the left, we grab some quick water, okay? Almost there, almost through it. So, you're gonna start with that right arm or both arms up, depending on what you wanna do, and when you're ready, bring that right leg up, try and tap the ball to the knee, and then extend back out. So you get to put that foot down on the ground, but just nice and gentle, right? It's gonna go right back up, Good, drive that ball down. We have five to go here. So putting all that weight into that left leg right now and that core, it's holding you up. Good, almost there guys, two more. Here's one and two. Relax, good. All right, same thing, other side. So now your left leg's gonna do the moving right leg gets to hold all that weight, okay? So bring those arms up in four, three, two, and begin, drive that knee up and down. So we like to go slow, it's harder, but makes you use more muscles. Good. This is number five, you're already halfway. Five more and we get that water break. Here's six. Seven, eight, nine, and you earned that water. Go ahead, grab a quick drink, and then we get to do those again. So one more time through them, and then you're, you're done with the main part. How are we doing? Hopefully we're good. We get to go back to some of those lunges. So if you remember, you're gonna hold the ball in your left hand. Your right arm's gonna step to the front. You're gonna bend, come up, and press, okay? Option B is to come out, don't bend, and then just step back. So it's just a forward step and back. 
your choice on if you want to do that lunge or not. It doesn't have to be a big knee bend. All right, so ball's in your left hand. We're going to go in four, three, two, let's go. So right foot forward, bend, up, and diagonal press, all right? Good. Oh, that was a bad one. <laughs> 10 on this side, and then we'll switch. This is gonna be number five right here. That means you're halfway. Five to go. Here's six. And seven. Three more here. Eight. And nine. And 10, you're done with that leg. Good, ball goes over to your right hand, left foot forward this time, right arm punches. Right here, let's start. So step, bend, up, and punch. Last time doing this one. After this, you don't have to do those forward lunges for the rest of your workout. Good. You look great. This is number five, you're already halfway. Here's six. And seven. Chest is lifted, right? Here's eight. Two more. Nine. And that's 10. Good. Okay, so now the ball goes in both hands. This is the one where you're gonna lift that leg out, hold it, punch, and then lower, okay? So you got another leg exercise, but we're gonna go back to the other leg to kind of even it out. So right leg lifts, left leg stays stable, chest press to the front in four, three, two, let's go. So we lift and hold, press back in. So maybe the goal this time is to see if you can lift that leg a little higher then you did that first round. But the trick, like I said, is to not lean too far into it, right? You want to stay relatively upright. This is number six, four to go. Here's seven. And eight. Nine, one more. And ten. All right, same thing. On the other side, so left leg's gonna lift in four, three, two, let's go. So lift and press, bring it down again. See if you can lift that leg a little higher than you did that first round. Or maybe the goal this round is to see if you can do it without holding onto a chair. Always try and find a little goal to help you through it. Halfway, five to go. It's gonna be six, and seven, here's eight, nine, and 10, good. Whew. All right, taking a break from those legs, we're gonna go back to just the shoulders and arms with the open and close, okay? You got three exercises left. Are you ready? So hold that ball straight out to the front. I'm gonna go right side first in four, three, two, we open and close. So you're squeezing those shoulder blades back behind you, opening up through that chest, trying to keep those arms shoulder height to really make sure you're working those shoulders, okay? Good, couple more. It's probably starting to kind of hit. You're gonna feel it. Almost there. Good, reach back and back. We're gonna do three more each side, okay? So that was one. This is two. Last set, right and left. Relax, good. All right, two exercises left. We got your squat to front raise next. So we're gonna get into position. Feet are wider than those hips, probably slightly wider than those shoulders. Ball is just gonna hang out down here. We're gonna squat and then lift it up to a front raise, all right? In four, three, two, 
Let's go. So sink back into that chair and then front raise. So lift it no higher than those shoulders. You're pushing those hips back. There's a chair or some a bench behind you that you want to sit down on. And you're trying to get down as far as you can here. Good. This is number five. Halfway after this front raise. Five to go. Finish her out. Here's six. And seven. Here's eight. We have two more. Right here, nine. And ten. Good. All right, one exercise left, guys. How are we doing? Okay, so we're gonna go back to that standing crunch. So balls in the right arm or both, if you need to have that chair, and you're gonna bring that knee up, all right? So we got 10 on the right side, 10 on the left. You ready? Finish her out. So both hands are up, or if you need to have that chair, you're getting it ready. We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, and begin, oh, that was a bad one. Drive that right knee all the way up, nice and slow. And you're trying to make sure that ball and that knee touch every time, reach, good. We're halfway already, five to go. Here's six, seven, last two right here. We have nine and 10, relax, good. All right, left side, same thing, then we stretch. Well, we'll grab water first. So ball up in four, three, two, and begin. So drive the knee up and extend out. Good, eight more. We look good, nice and strong. Working on that balance. Number five, we have five to go. Here's six, seven, eight, last two, nine, and 10. Awesome job. All right, quick drink of water, and then we're gonna stretch. All right, I want you to grab a chair or somewhere to sit for the stretching. We're gonna do it in our chair. Doesn't matter what kind of chair, any chair works. I want you to kind of sit on the edge of it for now. Find a good spot. And you take both your hands and just pull up that right leg. So knee hug, hug that knee up towards that chest. Sit up nice and tall. And just try and take a good deep breath in. And exhale, give me some ankle circles here. Just nice and loose. Switch direction here. And pull that knee up a little closer for five, four, three, two, and relax. Bring that leg down. We pick up the left, hug it in towards that chest. Sit up as tall as you can. And then give me some ankle circles. Switch direction, other way. And relax, pull it up a little higher for five, four, three, two, and relax, good. All right, right hand is gonna go under that chair, under that leg, wherever is comfortable. And then left arm is a little side stretch, so you're gonna bring it up and over. Really reach over to the right side as far as you can. And sit up tall, left arm under. Right arm over and across, reach to the left side. Back to center. I want you to take your right leg and just kick it out so I'm on my heel. And then I'm just leaning out slightly over my left leg. So the right leg, you should feel a stretch all along the back side of that leg. So it's on the ground, it's on the heel of that foot. Pull those toes in towards that chest and breathe. All right, we're gonna sit up and switch. So left leg kicks out, 
onto that heel, lean out slightly over that right leg, pull those toes of the left foot up towards your chest and feel the stretch in the back side of that left leg. And then sit up tall. I want you to take your head and just pull it over to the right side. Get a little neck stretch in there. And then switch over the other way. Just a gentle little pull. And then sit up tall. Take your right arm over and across and just gently pull. Get a good shoulder stretch and just wiggle those fingers around. And we switch left arm over and across and just wiggle those fingers around. And then back to that right side, bring your arm up and over and just gently push that elbow back working the back side of those triceps. Make sure you're sitting up tall, take some good deep breaths in. And switch over, left arm goes back, just gentle little push onto that elbow. And bring that arm down, take your hands behind your back and just squeeze those shoulder blades together. Think about opening up through that chest. And just kind of roll your head over to one side and then up and over to the other. And back to center. Hands are gonna to come to the front and we take palms towards you and just press to the front. So round through the back, release that upper back here and just reach as far forward as you can. your arms and just do a couple loose swings here and then bring your arms all the way up good deep breath in and exhale down inhale up and exhale one more good deep breath in and exhale thank you guys so much for joining me hopefully you had fun and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.